papers. Okay, finally, this is the video about the Kentucky trip. Um, what I did while I was there, this is the trip where I took my 4x5, the uh, Arca Swiss 4x5, and um, got some what I think are pretty good shots. I'll share those as the, the video progresses. And uh, I thought I would just kind of mix up some of the many, many minutes of video that I took and uh, try to make something interesting out of it. So without further ado, here we go. Now I grew up in Kentucky and uh, I haven't lived there for oh, a good 30 years or so. Uh, whenever I go back, I go obviously to visit my friends and family. Uh, secondarily, I go to do some photography and this time was no different. I wanted to capture a six shot series or at least a six shot series because uh, Lenswork Magazine was having a call for entries to uh, get published in a photo book that they were creating that was based on six shot series. I had this idea that my uh, series would be on country stores which Kentucky is pretty much littered with or at least that's the way I remembered it. As it turned out a bit of scouting uh, proved that the country store as I remembered it was pretty much a thing of the past or at least the ones that I checked out first were no longer country stores. So instead I decided to shoot around the Kentucky River which is something I've done multiple times in the past and it seemed like a good place to return to especially the creeks that feed into it. One such creek is Howard's Creek which I photographed at before um, right at the confluence of Howard's Creek and the Kentucky River. Last time I was there I shot my Hasselblad and got a couple of shots I really liked. So after a bit of scouting I decided to uh, dig back into Howard's Creek and as it so happened I discovered a trail there uh, that led me to some pretty good photo opportunities. Hey YouTubers, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm near Halls on the river in Kentucky. That's uh, near where I grew up, uh, not too far away anyway. Um, and I'm also near the John Holder Trail, which uh, goes up along Howard Creek. I'm getting ready to hike that trail a bit and see if I can find some photo opportunities. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's really quiet, lots of birds singing, all that. You probably hear that going on. Um, I'm also near a place where I've shot before. Uh, last year when I uh, brought my Hasselblad out, I got a couple of nice shots um, right around the corner from here, but the river is really high right now, or at least relatively high, and I can't get down to the beach that I was on before. So anyway, I'm going to head up this trail. There's supposedly uh, a couple of waterfalls up here. It's only about a mile and a half in, uh, so uh, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I've got all my gear packed up in the uh, Mind Shift gear, um, 40 liter first light, and uh, I think I'm probably carrying about 20 pounds in. I'm just going to hand hold the tripod, uh, so I'm going to get going. Right from the trailhead next to Halls, the uh, trail heads up at a pretty steep incline, but it really doesn't last very long. You, you hit the peak of it pretty quickly, and then you've got this view down the creek on the left-hand side. Now, I haven't lived in this area um, in about 30 years. It's hard to believe that I'm that old. And pretty much all the hiking I've done in that time has been done in uh, high desert areas, uh, in the mountains, out in Colorado or um, New Mexico, that sort of thing. And it's really striking me just how incredibly dense the forest is here in Kentucky and uh, just how wet it is, basically. Uh, the trail's pretty muddy. Um, you got little streams running by uh, much more often than what I've seen uh, out in the West. Anyway, it's just a totally different experience being out here as opposed to uh, dry Western climate and uh, kind of open, more open land anyway. Pretty soon you're heading down just as quickly as you head it up. It's fairly steep. It doesn't really come across in the uh, video, but uh, in the muddy spots you really got to watch your step. And speaking of how wet it is around here, uh, there's a lot of areas of the trail that are really muddy and the trail is on a pretty extreme slope. So uh, looks like somebody fell here yesterday and I'm gonna try to make sure I don't.
All right, I've uh, reached the creek. Some pretty nice scenery down here. I'm still uh, kind of in search of this uh, waterfall of legend. And uh, anyway, there's plenty of good photo ops down here. I just got to explore a little bit and uh, see what uh, the area has for me. I gotta say, I'm a little afraid somebody's gonna sneak up on me and tie me up and tell me I got a real pretty mouth. Deer, 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 deer. Looks like I need to ford the creek. It's not deep or anything, I just didn't plan on getting my feet really wet. Um, but if I wanna get to this waterfall, I think that's what I gotta do. Funny thing about creek fording. <clears throat> At first you try to keep your feet dry. Then you fail. The nice thing is once you fail, you just walk across the creek. This is a particularly beautiful shot right here. Um, I used the uh, artist viewfinder that uh, Alan Brock recommended, the software to kind of frame up some photos based on this spot and, and to figure out which focal lengths would work. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get a little further out in the creek, but I'd really have to, to go deep to do that. So uh, I'm gonna hike a bit further and see what else I find, but this spot is, is really, really nice. Now I'm noticing that the light over here, let me switch around. I don't know if you can tell, but the, the light in the background there is really nice also. So uh, I need to find what I want to shoot and get shooting or I'm going to run out of opportunities, I'm afraid. not particularly hot but the sun's coming out it's warming up a bit it is incredibly humid though I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but I just about walked into a spider web like I was talking about before the county I grew up in in Kentucky uh, Clark County and the surrounding counties are graced with these stacked stone fences from a long time ago. I'll do some research. Maybe I'll put the details down in the description. But uh, basically, the fences line a huge part of the country roads. Uh, I guess they were property demarcators. And uh, they're put together. There's no mortar. Basically, the stones are selected and then chalked in and all that good stuff. And this is a beautiful old stack stone fence that's along the trail. All right, I'm pretty much at the top of the trail, and as you can see, I've gotten grungy and sweaty. It's like walking through a swimming pool out here. Uh, so behind me is Holder's cabin, I believe. I have not read the materials in detail just yet. And beside me is a telephone pole. <laughs> kind of ruins the effect. But uh, anyway, it's been kind of a cool hike. Uh, I'm going to check out the cabin, see if there's any good photographic opportunities, and then uh, um, head back down and definitely take some shots on the creek. This is uh, a building on the John Holder Trail. Um, part of the thing, I haven't read anything about it yet. I'll do a voiceover if necessary. Uh, Pretty darn spooky. It looks like it has electrical power down there in that bottom room. So I decide to make uh, an interior shot of uh, this little building, my first shot of the day. I'm just going to set the camera up right at the door and shoot into the interior with uh, the light from the window kind of providing a contrajour effect. I decided in this case to use my iPhone as a spot meter uh, because the lighting was a little bit iffy just because of the uh, sunlight coming in through the window. And I ended up metering uh, one of the shadow areas. 
Uh, the camera is set up with some rear rise, which is basically the same thing as front fall, and that lowers the point of view of the shot. I also used a very tiny amount of front forward tilt to um, increase the depth of field. Well, I just shot my first wasted frame. I forgot to close the lens down, pulled the dark slide out, went, went to take the shot, and uh, nothing happened. So I was like, there you go. Well, I wasted a frame. I wasted a sheet. But I guess it's par for the course. Uh, i got to pay more attention. So I'm going to head back down and try to get some shots on the creek. Okay, I'm trying to hightail it back down to the creek where I think my better photo ops are. Unfortunately, it's clouded up, so my light might be screwed. Um, you know, I can always overcome that in post by adding contrast, but uh, I'd like to get some actual sunlight on some of the rocks or trees or whatever. I guess we'll have to see what happens. Uh, just have note on this backpack it's uh, it has worked out really well right now I'm pretty comfortable I've got about probably 22 pounds on and uh, there's not a lot of weight on the strap so the suspension system seems to work pretty well damn it the spiders have rebuilt their webs since they came up Blech. anyway uh, I've been able to haul this camera gear around pretty comfortably and uh, that's a good thing I'm, us I'm using my tripod as a spider web destruction device as I uh, walk down the trail once I got back down to the creek I returned to the area I had scoped out before and uh, set up the camera in a couple of different locations and got a couple of shots Little did I know that my lens was going to fog up while I was carrying it down the hill. You know, I, I was shooting up at the top and then I put the caps on and threw it in the bag and came down. I, I took the front cap off and the lens was all fogged up. Looks okay now. Problem with shorter lenses and the 120 is not even that short. Uh, is that they don't distribute light very evenly on the ground glass. It's a little hard to see your composition if you don't have a Fresnel, which I don't. I'll make do. I'm using a little front shift here to try to move my point of view to the right a bit. There's water right down here. Uh, it's pretty deep. Don't want to step in there. The legs are actually in the water on a rock. Uh, but this tree here, I don't really want it in, at least in this shot, so I was able to shift my point of view over a bit to kind of leave it out and shoot up the creek. finally discovered the waterfall as I was walking along, along the main creek. The waterfall is back there. And I've spent hours out here not looking for the waterfall, just shooting and, and hiking the whole trail and so forth. Uh, to get down there, I'd need to go and get across the, the creek here and then try to head up back there. But I'm out of time, so I may have to come back here tomorrow morning.